Hello Kitty fans! A while ago one of you asked me, do you also have Hello Kitty books? And I thought, yes I do. And that would make a nice video. So I thought I'd show you about half of the books that I have, which is actually a huge pile. So I'm gonna put it aside <laughs> and just pick one. So the first book I'm gonna show you is the big book of Hello Kitty and I bought this on sale a few years ago in the UK. Um, just look at the inside, that's so cute. <laughs> this book is I think from, what did I see, 2011 but uh, I think I bought it a few years later and um, it was on sale. And this is just a book with cute Hello Kitty pictures and this is the index, it's about fashion and travel and stuff. So here are some cute pictures. And here Hello Kitty tells you about basic skincare. <laughs> Look how cute she is. And uh, basic makeup. Lip balm and rosy pink lipstick or gloss is perfect to finish your look. <laughs> it's so cute. And a uh, basic hair. Well, she doesn't have too much hair. Well, she's got fur, of course, but I think these uh, whiskers are... <laughs> she's curling her whiskers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, she has lots to do with her whiskers. So cute. Um, fun makeup. Okay. With metallics and fleshy lashes and pretty pouch. Oh, it's so cute. So here are some more uh, pictures. So this is the next section. It's uh, fashion fun. And then you see Hello Kitty with all kinds of cute uh, outfits. I just love this one, the winter one. <laughs> and this one is one of my favorites because I'm s I so love the 50s and the 60s. And this is so cute. So she tells you all things you can do. You can make your own uh, clothes. And here are some styles. Just awesome. So I really love this book. Uh, here it tells about travel. It's just a book full of cute Hello Kitty pictures. And as a child, I can understand you just reading this and wanting to make your own clothes and put on makeup and go to London or wherever, <laughs> America, New York. It must be awesome to read. But as an adult, it's just so much fun to look at it and imagine how you would see this if you were a child. I just love this. And, uh, oh, I want to go to Tokyo so badly. <laughs> so cute, Gothic Hello Kitty. So, and this is all, oh, this is cute. All about you. Things to do. You want to be a rock star, of course. <laughs> Uh, well, all kinds of cute stuff, things you need to know in your life, <laughs> things about your home, your room, and well, about colors, you know, lots of things you would like to know when you're a young kid. And um, oh, I love this. I just love to look at the pictures. So uh, I shouldn't leave through every book I show you because that's just gonna take six videos. But just look at it. It's so cute. Oh. Chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Oh, I could really use some of this, guys. There's a huge storm raging outside. And uh, of course I'm comfy and cozy inside, but I really want it to be spring and summer again. Oh well, just a while. Okay, so sports and hobbies and, ooh, pretty writing. Wish I could do that. <laughs> so guys, this is just such a cute, cute, cute book. And I um, was so glad that I found it. Just the big book of Hello Kitty. So next up are these two. Uh, this one I saw first. It says, Papa is the allerliefste. Which you of course understand what it means. And here it says, Mama is the allerliefste. Now I think you understand the words Papa and Mama. Mom and Dad. Uh, dad and Mom. <laughs> and uh, it actually means Dad is the best. The sweetest. And it's just about Hello Kitty and her dad. And it's really stereotyped because Dad works, works really hard, it says. But he wants to play with Hello Kitty as well. And uh, it's really a dad. <laughs> but it's a really cute book. And of course, Mom is in the kitchen, I think. Actually, that's really awful. <laughs> she likes to hug. Oh, she works hard as well. Oh, yes, you go, Mom. <laughs> Most of the times, these books are just... The, the, the woman is in the kitchen and the man uh, works really hard. Uh, <laughs> I don't really like that. But this one doesn't. So uh, I just bought these actually and I haven't read it. I just uh, leave through it a bit like I did now. <laughs> Daddy even cooks. Okay. I really like these books. So uh, I, I just saw them in the uh, in the magazine stand actually. And I 
there are never Hello Kitty books. Some sticker books and, you know, craft books uh, for children. But uh, this is just a really cute book that I saw. It was three euro fifties and uh, I saw this one first, so I bought it. And uh, two months later, I think there was this one. So really cute. I really love these. And then guys, oh, wait, I forgot one. And then there are these annuals. Uh, every time we go to the UK, I buy the annuals. Uh, they have lots. They have whatever is in at the moment. Spider-Man, Doctor Who, Hello Kitty, um, Legos. I don't know anything. Lots of these annuals. And I bought one in 2011, 2012, 13 and 14. And then I just didn't see one anymore. So uh, maybe there isn't a Hello Kitty annual book anymore or just... Um, I just didn't see it. I buy it a uh, half price or really price down because these come out, I think, at the end of the year. I think. I'm not really sure. And when I come to the UK, they're on sale. <laughs> so maybe they were just sold out when I uh, after 2014. But I, it's really sad because I really like these books. Just look at this. They are so cute and they are full of cute pictures. And uh, again, things to do. Welcome to my world. And um, this is about shoes and... Actually, it's a bit the same like the first book. Um, Love is in the air, Valentine. <laughs> Face place. <laughs> Just uh, make over and mend. Lots of cute stuff for you to read. But music says about you. What does music say about you? And uh, I can imagine just going through this book and really loving it. There are also, I thought there were little games in here. Favorite things games so these are just fun books for uh, I think in the, when it's vacation I have no idea uh, I really think this is at the end of the year I'm not sure but uh, anyways maybe summer vacation or a winter vacation so these are kind of vacation books that you just get as a child and you can have fun all the time that you're at home and you're driving your parents nuts <laughs> so you have something to do <laughs> so anyway I bought one from 2011 and it's really cute um, it's just, this one is really bright I saw it and I thought whoa okay so this is the annual 2012 I'm just gonna flip through it because it's about the same but then different if you know what I mean the star signs these are so cute there are plush from these I have some of them and they're so adorable like this one and this one <gasps> so cute so uh yeah really nice when you're when you have a holiday and you don't know what to do you get this book out and you have fun and i just have fun leaving through it just look at this nice outfits i really love this so that was 2012 and then we have 2013 and that's also pink but a bit less uh, whoa although it's really shimmery and glittery <laughs> and again um <laughs> heroes superhero themed all kinds of cute uh, things to do and to read and games and stuff and I just love these pictures so much I just want to cut them out and put them in my uh, art journals and stuff because look at this I have stickers uh, from this line <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna cut this uh, cut the pictures out because that's a shame because this these are such cute books so this was the last one I found from 2014 <laughs> I love these 3d glasses <laughs> Ah, oh boy. <clears throat> and, um, well, you can color and do stuff. And uh, I really love these books, like I just said. So, um, I'm not sure. Do you know if there's an annual from 2015 and 16? Just let me know, because if there are, I, I just really want them. So I, I need to search for them. <laughs> anyway, ah, okay. Then I have this book, and this one I really love. I saw it. I don't know, online somewhere, maybe on um, uh, on Instagram I saw someone who bought this. And there's, there's a thing outside which is making a lot of noise. It's not a storm, but oh well. And this is a book for ever cute, creative and collectible about Hello Kitty collectibles. And a book for collectors, so I needed it because I am a collector. And uh, lots of collaborations and cute Hello Kitty items and I just love going through books like this. Uh, on the other hand, they make me really, really want this stuff and you can't get it anymore, of course. And so it makes you a bit, I want to say jealous a bit. Oh, I want this. Where can I get it? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> They're all a bit older and, uh, but it's really adorable. I just love looking at these pictures and this stuff. 
and thinking, whoa, there's so much out there. So much I don't have. And every now and then you see something you do have and then you're really happy because you say, ha, I have that one. Haven't seen it yet in here, but still, oh, a windmill. <laughs> And uh, it says what, uh, also what it costs, but that's the retail price, so it's probably much more expensive by now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really love going through books like this. Oh guys, I love these things. This is another collection that I have, Viewfinder, with, you know, with the little pictures inside. I collect those for, I've been collecting them, I think, for 30 years, so I've got uh, maybe 100 of them or so. And uh, maybe 200, I don't know. I have to... I have to check that out actually it would make a nice video for my other channel Karen's Corner because these are really cute and I do have some of uh, Hello Kitty so yay but uh, there's nothing in here that I have so far so oh well such cute stuff so oh, look at that guitar okay I can go through it again but I'm not going to so uh, this is a really nice book every now and then I just pick it up and just go through it and think oh this is also nice Okay, next guys, I have another one of those books with lots of pictures and collector's items in here and I love books like this. This is a Dutch version and I love the fact that I translated this, uh, this to Dutch because we don't have that much, of course, as you know. It says, a lief en vrolijk book, which means a sweet and happy book. A look in her, a glance in her cute little world. Een kijkje in haar schattige wereld. Uh, loosely translated all. <laughs> and I love these books because they have these pockets with stuff in here. Here you have a transfer for you can put on your t-shirt, which I'm not going to do because I want to leave it in here. And there are lots more of those pocket things. Here you have a, a menu from the airplane, which I want to go on. <laughs> and of course, they are all replicas, but it's so cute. I really would love to go on a plane like this and, and get food like this. Can you take that with you? I think lots of people are, will take it with them. <laughs> oh, I really want to go here. And, um, oh, I don't need another kid, actually, but, oh, so cute. And uh, there's just all kinds of cute stuff about Hello Kitty, all kinds of collectibles again, and I love the Nerd Kitty. And um, I just love going through books like this. It's like, you know, having a look in someone else's collection, like you're doing now, actually, in my collection. <laughs> and I really like it. Um, well, all kinds of cute stuff. And there are even collectors uh, in here that show their collections, so that's really nice. Um, I just want to see if I can find another one of those little pocket things. Oh, look here. There's a sheet of stickers. I love it. So, I do have this one. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I think it's so cute. I do have this one as well. Yay, I have some stuff uh, from this book. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I really love books like this. And I don't know if there are any more of these. Do you know? Because I only have two, I think. Uh, there is another one which I'm going to show you the next time. Uh, it's for her 40th anniversary, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, um, there are lots of these items in there as well. Oh, I would like to go to a Hello Kitty cafe. I was there last year, but we just didn't have the time. It was in between the Harry Potter place. So we just went there and looked at it and bought everything they had. In, but we didn't buy any cake. We just didn't have the time for a high tea. Ah, uh, that's so sad. Okay. Um, well. Oh, this is cute. It's a passport ticket to Pudoland. Oh, I, I really want to go there one day. So much to see. So much to do. <laughs> Anyways, I love books like this. Hello Kitty profile in Japanese. And in English. Okay. Okay. Guys, this is a really nice book. So I really love books like this. And I hope I can find more because I really like to see other people's collections. Okay, I, I think I just have just enough time to show you this. So these are uh, the little books, um, comic books. <laughs> I just couldn't find a word. Uh, from different illustrators. Uh, Chabot is one of the, um, I think it's the illustrator of this style i really love these um they're so cute and i didn't know they existed until i found one on amazon and i thought well these are cute different and i don't really like all of them but it's fun and there are no words in here it's just drawings just illustrations and they tell a story and it's just so cute so uh then i found out that there are different ones and i didn't know so i just uh went online and i just bought these all on amazon i think and I think they are cute. This one is really adorable. <laughs> and uh, another one. It's about time. 
Now this one is a bit weird. As I said, I don't really like all of them, but some of them are just so adorable and some of them are just so weird and quirky. <laughs> and just imagine, well, you get my drift, all kinds of cute ones. Look at this, this is so cute. I really love this one. Oh. And surprise, I think I have all of them. I haven't checked in a while. Maybe there are new ones, I really don't know. But I really love these ones. So uh, I might have to check that. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of these that I have. They're not numbered, so uh, I might have to go online and check that out. And then I saw that there was this free comic book day edition. And, uh, well, we don't have that in the Netherlands. Although I saw one or two uh, in a comic book store a while ago. Uh, not this one, but, you know, like this. Um, Anyways, uh, free, free comic book day, and they just gave these out for free. And uh, here is Hello Kitty. And I saw this online, I bought this in the USA, and the shipping was really too much for such a little thing. But uh, it, So it was quite expensive to get here, but I really wanted it, and um, it's really weird, but I kind of like it. <laughs> and, uh, well, it was all Hello Kitty themed, so I uh, thought, you know what, I want this. And I paid a, a lot for it. I don't know how much, but I think maybe this was $15 and, and the shipping also. So, you know, uh, 25, 30 euros, <laughs> something like that. So that's a lot of money for a book like this. But I really love that I have this in my collection with these ones. And... Um, yeah, so these are a few of my Hello Kitty books. I have more. Um, I just took the big ones out. I have one big one left and then I have just smaller ones. So I'm going to show you that in part two. Maybe next week, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I still have some surprises from Vicky coming this way. So I, I might be an unboxing video next week. If not, then um, it might take a while for it to get here. Then I'll do a part two because I do have cute little books as well. Hope you like this video. Hope you like uh, seeing my books. It's a bit different video than normal. Um, give me a thumbs up if you want. I really would love that. And uh, do you have any Hello Kitty books? And do you also love books like this as much as I do? Do you want like see, seeing all these items that you don't have and never will have? That's actually a bit sad. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I hope to see you in the next video. If you want to see more, then just please subscribe. And well, groetjes from Holland. Bye. Oh wait guys, I thought I showed you this one. Uh, I put it aside, but I showed you this one. And uh, actually they are almost the same. This is, I showed you this one big book uh, of Hello Kitty. But look at this. This one is the guide to life. And it's uh, a whole lot of this is the same. I'm just gonna check. Actually it's the same book I think. Let me just find this page. Um, this one, look. Places to eat, places to shop. <laughs> it's exactly the same book. Really, it is. Uh, Tokyo, and then this one. Oh, Paris, Tokyo. And it, so this is exactly the same book. So I thought I showed you this one, but I showed you the big one. And this is just the same, but just a little bit smaller. And a different title. I just found that out while filming this. <laughs> so uh, I don't need to show you this book because you already saw it. <laughs> it's just exactly the same. <laughs> okay, well, that's what you have a lot. A lot. <laughs> Look at this. It really is exactly the same. It's just a bit cheaper. This one is £10 and this one is £13. But uh, you see that a lot. And most of the time they change the cover, but this time they just change the title. And I just really thought it was a different book because this one has white letters and this one has silver letters and it's shimmery. <laughs> okay, same book. This is so weird. I, I, I really didn't know this. I just noticed this. <laughs> I think I bought this one year and this just a few years later. I don't know, but this is so odd that it's just exactly the same book. 